Hi, I'm Phil White uh, from Cervelo. I'm one of the co-founders of Cervelo. One of the things we found when, people, when we looked at the P5 is we looked at how people were using the equipment and we looked at what was happening in the industry and we saw that the bikes were getting more and more complex, more difficult to set up, that brake pads had to be ground to fit the new wheels, didn't fit the range of wheels, that it didn't actually work all that well, that you needed to have a mechanic almost full time to help you set up the bike and maintain it. And so we came up with this kind of dual theme for the P5 of Simply Faster. I'm Damon Reinard. I'm Cervelo's senior advanced R&D engineer. And some of the things that make it simple and fast are the storage options. We've got five locations. We have options to store things, storage and hydration. The first one is on top of the aero bars between your arms. There's a normal bottle that there's an integrated mount for the cage here. The second one is on top of the top tube. You can put a bento box. Uh, there's a couple accessories that are being developed for this. And the third one is on the down tube, like a normal bottle cage fits here, but there's also a third boss. We're working with Tor Hands to design a, a, a storage unit around the, the P5 frame, so it's integrated well there. The fourth one is behind the saddle. We're working with X-Lab, and they're making a little metal fitting that fits in with the seat post here that holds some accessories or bottles off the back. And the last one is the hidden pocket inside the frame. If you have DI2, that's the place to put the battery. You can put anything else in there that you want, usually a, a flat kit, for example, CO2 and a tube will fit in there. The fit setup, we've got, you know, a frame comes in basically six sizes, the same as we've had in all of our triathlon bikes, but it hits a wider range of people. We do that with two ways. One's with the frame, but also it's designed with the aero bar together to offer a very, very wide range of fit. So you can get as low as you want as you could traditionally get on a P4, so a very low position, but you can also get basically to the same position you can get on a P2, which is a very high fitting bike. Reach adjustment, again, just like stack adjustment, the primary is the frame length. You choose your frame size with a frame reach. And the other element of reach adjustment is the aero bar. The, uh, the aero bar is integrated with the bar and the stem together in one piece. The effective stem length, it's kind of arbitrary. We say it's around nine centimeters, so it's a pretty common stem length. That mainly affects just the, uh, the base bar reach out here. The elbow pads themselves have uh, four and a half adjustment. They mount with two screws, a standard 25 millimeter screw to screw spacing, and the pads themselves have four rows of holes, so you can move the pads 25 millimeters forward or 25 millimeters back from the neutral position. Well, if we look at the, uh, the, the frame itself and combine that with the aero bar, you basically got three macro settings you can get on the aero bar. So it goes from extremely low to a regular low position and then a high V position, which uses these twin V tails to get to a very high position, but not sacrifice aerodynamics to get to it. And then you've got a kind of a micro adjustment uh, spacer setup below that so you can get even higher yet and fine tune your position. The brakes are very simple. We teamed together with Magura, who are the leaders in hydraulic brakes, and we did all the aero development, they did all the hydraulic development to make this brake possible. Under this cover is the front hydraulic brake. It's the identical caliper under the bottom bracket under its own cover. The only difference is the bolt length. Speaking of bolts, the Magura hydraulic brake mounts just like a traditional caliper. So if for some reason you don't want to use the hydraulic brake, you can put on a standard front brake and a TRP brake on the back. This brake system, including the lever, the line, and the caliper, the whole thing filled with oil, weighs less than either Dura-Ace or SRAM as a system. So it's very light, but the biggest advantage is its aerodynamic drag is reduced. Over the last few years, we found that we were starting to understand the airflow around the bike better by using CFD in a, in a computational fluid dynamics in a much more broader sense. So we hired a full-time aerodynamicist and we spent basically a year developing the CFD software so we're getting really, really accurate results the same as we get in the wind tunnel. Well, there's basically two, two different levels of, uh, of frames that you can get. One has uh, a wider, faster fork that's really geared towards triathlon. It's got almost a six to one ratio, um, whereas the less expensive and slightly lower performance version is a little bit cheaper. So that's the benefit for the customer. If you, cheapest model starts at, I think, $6,000 and goes up from there.